Hi guys and welcome back. I want to say thank you to everybody that requested that I come back and do another review about the trending situation with Sky and her son. If you are watching this from YouTube, I will drop a card up here. That's my original breakdown of that episode of the show. S shout out to my snap chat squad i don't even post on snapchat but people message me there to do reviews and i thank you again for requesting this review this review is for the people wanting to know particularly why was sky and her son having an altercation in the first place because some people they have not watched the show they have not watched the season of this show from one to the current season like i have they really are trying to make sense of the situation and some people was like why was she fighting her son so i will get into the review and let y'all watch the video and then i will answer these questions I'm telling y'all out of the gate. First off, I want to say, when he looked at Sky, well, no, I guess first I need to say, as you see, he was not fighting Sky. Well, he tried to fight Sky, but they didn't technically fight. 
Um, security had separated him. She was fighting. Security tells security not to touch her son. So she wasn't technically fighting her son. She did not wish to fight her son. She had no intentions of fighting her son. She did have, have intentions of getting, having him see reason, but she wasn't going to fight him. At the same time, I don't think she's going to let the boy just beat her butt, but she wasn't going to, wasn't physically trying to fight him. The security that has Sky right here, this is why I rewind it, because I want y'all to see the security guy that's holding Sky right here. When he grabbed hold to Genesis, if it weren't for production, this could have went way better. Because little production dude come running over there telling him, no, he when he restrained him, he should have stayed like that. And they said they should have said, look here. You're not gonna disrespect her. We gonna see you supposed to be sitting down and talk to her. We're not gonna behave that way. Put him in his place. You tell him you do not hit women. We do not disrespect women. It don't matter what you feel like happened in life or how bad you still don't act that way. That's how I know it was production that was wanting this big blow up because production wanted him wanted to let security to let the boy go, let Genesis go, and let him do all this acting the fool and and pushing and fighting and all of this kind of stuff. Production, no. See, production is messing up the whole Black Ink franchise of the show because all the fakings. If y'all see my video on Black Ink Chicago, y'all see how production messed up that. I even put it out there. I put proof out there how they messed up recording and how they be lying. And it ain't wasn't the cast. It was production that did it. It was how they produced the show and what they did. They now they come in to do it to this one. Production has hasn't been this horrible in other seasons of this show. I don't want to see them ruin this show because a lot of times this show right here has been more realistic than any other show on VH1. Even basketball wise has went down the drain because production has messed it up. And this one was pretty much where the last good one we had left. And now they're, they're ruining this. I feel like it's disrespectful to the fans that they think we're this stupid and we're, we're this ignorant that we're not going to call bullshit and see what's fake and what's real. They need to cut it out because they pockets is getting deep and ours is getting empty from paying these high-ass cable bills to watch this drama that they messing up. It's real drama in life. We don't need y'all to add to because this is ruining somebody's life. This is ruining a child's life. When you start messing with children, I feel some kind of way. Then the boy looks at his mama. When he does that, and when he first looked at her, I feel like in reality, when he wouldn't look at Sky because he didn't want to see her cry. Because he knew deep down inside, he really just wanted to hug her and make sense of everything, what happened. But he couldn't do that. He had to stick to script and do what he was told to do by his dad and by production so he could get that check or whatever they promised him. So let me say this, Genesis. If production promised you a check, if you acted a certain way. If they promised you something to act a certain way, why would you be mad at your mama if they pr promised her money or a better situation? If she went along with a certain storyline or a certain lifestyle to keep the ratings up on the show. The next thing, why was Genesis so mad at Sky? Apparently, somebody done fed to the to the child that Sky was living decent and she was never living that bad where she couldn't see about her child. Sky was a child when she had these kids. I've seen somewhere that Sky said she was fifteen or sixteen, but she was really fourteen. Either way, it don't matter. She was between fourteen and sixteen. That's a two year difference. She was still a child. She was a child who had a has a mother. That was not mentally stable to raise the two boys. Or Sky for that matter. There was no other family to come in and help. They had to put the kids up for adoption. They didn't send the kids to just anybody. They wanted to know of the family and know that it was going they were going to be properly raised in a better place out of that horrible city. That's what they did. Now, he goes on to say... In his interview at Duchess, Duchess Salon um, Tattoo Parlor, that he, I think that's where he said he was, he was gang banging and on the street. 
why was you gang banging on the street? Because we've seen the adoptive mom how she got baby pictures of y'all. So that means y'all didn't have to be homeless. What did y'all do? Run away from home and live on the street? And then the little brother decided, why am I living like this? Because I have a home. What was the issue? Because you, according to everything we've seen, it didn't have to be that way. It was choices that you made. And I agree with what the stepmom said. He was all for Sky. He loved Sky. And they thought they was making the right decision for, um, toward them to allow the bi biological dad to have some, you know, into their lives. And then that's when Genesis decided to go rogue and start running the streets and want to do the game banging and acting a fool. I believe her story over anybody else's story at this point. It's the most realistic and she has the least to lose out of everybody. But you mad at Sky for putting you up for adoption because she wanted you to do better and she didn't want you to be on the streets, but you chose to be on the streets. I feel like that production, at first I st it started off with the dad. He put whatever into Genesis' head that Sky been had it like that and he could be doing this, that, and the other. Why don't we put our story out there, man, and get this money? And we can have this, that, and the other. And then production went along and said, yeah, if y'all tell this story and y'all do this, then we'll make sure we put a little something in your pocket. All you got to do is bring the drama, do whatever. And he was coerced into acting a damn fool. Don't ever do that for the camera. This your life, boy. Don't destroy yourself for no piece of action for production because it's not the fans doing it. They need a little drama on the show, but it don't have to be the kind of drama that ruin your life. And I'm going to go back to saying out and say it a million times. We've seen what happened to Kirk and Rashida. That's enough for me, honey. I don't need to see no more proof that production and ruin your life because a lot of stuff they was doing had been encouraged. You trying to keep up with this facade and lifestyle that's been encouraged on you. No, you got to have common sense for yourself. Now, I was asked my honest opinion, and my next opinion is, what would I have done in that situation? From a mother's perspective, I don't care if I wasn't there for you. If I'm there telling you I'm sorry, I'm in a better place now. At the end of the day, we was taught to respect our elders. You may not love her, you ain't got to love her, and you ain't got to like her, but you will be respectful. All that jumping up and cussing her out and running out, no sir, that will not happen. That's uncalled for. You need to be put in your place. That's why I said they should have let some grown men, like the, the tallest security guard right here in this picture, was putting him in his place. They should have let him put him in his place. That what, what he was doing was what needed to be done. Him and the one in the little neon shirt, they was doing right. They All they needed to do is restrain that boy say, look here. You can feel free to talk to your mama, but you will not put your hands on a woman. And you will not hit any woman because that's we as men, that's not what we do. And you don't got to like them. You don't have to love them, but you don't, you will respect them and, and not put your hands on them. Now you can feel free to go about your business, but that's not how we act or toward a woman, toward women. And that's what he should have been told. And he should have been put in his place. Done. The little short guy that was over there encouraging him, he shouldn't have been allowed to let, see, he had him. This is what we needed right here. The little guy in the neon shirt's coming to assist. He's coming to help him. This is what needed to been done right here. They was going to restrain him and put him in his place. But no, we got little dumpy guy comes. Let's see if we can go back to it. Because I'm going to put this out to you. Little dumpy guy comes and says, you know, no, nah, let him go, let him go, let him go. Let me find him. See, he doing right right here. This is all correct. Keep him restrained. See, look. The, they come say, no, nah, don't. See, see, see. And so they basically, they basically letting him push them around and all this kind of stuff out of respect to Sky, because this is Sky's son. And they letting him do this and get away with this. All this did is empower him to act a bigger damn fool and do more physical, wanting to put hands on people because he thought he that big and bad. They shouldn't let him do that and behave like that. That's on production because all they doing is creating a monster. No, they, that's why I tell you it's scripted and it's fake. 
I think he really hurt behind the situation. I think he is confused. I think he has some mixed feelings. I think he has a lot of questions that need to be answered. But the only way to help this situation is to have Genesis sit down with Sky and somebody else that is not production and not his biological father. And that's going to see reason and it don't need to be what's her name fix my life because i don't be in agree agreeing with what she's saying because she likes to attack and tear down people yes yeah, she do what's her name i violin i yelling whatever fix my life they don't need to sit down with her so don't even recommend it don't even speak it and try to talk it into existence because she likes to tear down people and all she gonna do is tear down sky because i don't see her show too much and after what she did with nephi i wouldn't send my dog over there for counseling so anyway they need to get with somebody a neutral body. Um, I'm gonna tell you who they need to sit sit down with. They need to talk sit down with Dr. Jen. Y'all know Dr. Jen that did all those um the couple counseling, the marriage counseling um for VH1 show. They need to sit down with Dr. Jen. That would be somebody good for them to sit down and talk to because they she could help them make sense of this situation and get to a common ground. He don't have to love her, like her, whatever, but at least get some questions answered as to the truth about what's going on. So that's my opinion about this show. I'm ready for the next episode. And I'll see y'all in the next review. And again, I will leave links to all of the shows. I have did a couple, three reviews for this show. I think this makes the fourth one. Y'all really need to see all of them, especially if you're behind on the history of this show. Because I put out some very important information about these shows in a whole that if you watch all of them together, it will make the show make more sense to you going forward. So... Again, I will see y'all in the next interview. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. I thank you guys for watching.